Pastor Rebecca here from DGT, and we're here to do uh, Children's Church Wrap-Up. Today, we're just going to talk a little bit about what we learned in Children's Church. Today was so much fun, so much fun. The first thing I want to do is we're going to play a game. And so what I'd love you to do is get a piece of garland or anything. It can be crepe paper or whatever. And what we're going to do is we're going to say go. And when I say go, you got to get the garland all around your head. Okay, ready? You can get garland or crepe paper or even ribbon. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't say go. Go. Ah! So this is what we did today. Ah! Ah! I'm going to show you some pictures of our kids. Ah! Ah! There we are. How'd you do? Okay. Well, when I see garland on a head, especially if it's gold, but this is red, um, I think of angels. What do you think of? Yes. Today, we're going to be talking about some incredible things that happened. And we're going to be talking about how an angel came and told Mary all about Jesus. But the first thing I want to do is I want to play a little game with you. Um, probably not a game. Just, just you have to tell me who. I'm going to show you pictures and you tell me who they are. Okay. So first of all, here's this one. Who is that? Have you ever seen that? He's a superhero and his name is Thor. Okay, are you ready? Here's another one. Who's that? That is a superhero and his name is Iron Man. Okay, here's another one. Ready? Who's that? That's the Incredible Hulk. And now here's two. Yes, Spider-Man and Batman. Okay, I have one more incredible, incredible superhero. Are you ready? Oh, you don't think that that's a superhero? Oh, who is it? Yes, it's Mary. And you don't think that's a superhero, huh? Hmm. Well, let's do our lesson and you can decide later if it is. In Luke chapter, um, chapter 1 we find that um, we, we discover that Jesus is going to be born. So it's chap Luke chapter 1 and it's verse 26. Now listen, okay, ready? In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel, and that's why we had this on my head today, the angel Gabriel, to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. Greetings, favored woman, said, said Gabriel, confused and disturbed. Now, we have to think about that, that whenever an angel came, it was kind of confusing and disturbing. And um, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I jumped back. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary. You, um, God has decided to bless you. You will become pregnant and have a son and you are to name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the son of the most high. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestors and he will reign over Israel forever for his kingdom will never end. Mary said, how can this be? How can I have a baby? I am a virgin, which means I haven't been with, I don't have a husband. I haven't been with a man. And the angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. So today, incredible trust. Okay. So I have an ornament, a very precious ornament, and it's very breakable, but it will only, it, it won't, if I try to hang it on a tree, it'll drop. What I have to do is in order to put it on a tree, I have to have an ornament hanger, just like this one over here. An ornament hanger is actually what allows me to decorate my trees. Look at all these ornament hangers I have. Do you know that this is the most important part of decorating a tree? It's not the ornaments. Because if we try to put an ornament on a tree without one of these, it'll just bounce down and a lot of times it'll break. Today, as we study, we studied about Mary, what we discovered is Mary was not the ornament. Who was the ornament? 
It was Jesus. He came to save us, to take our sins away, and to die on the cross for us. And he is God. But what did God use? God used Mary, just like an ornament holder. And her trust in God when she said, Oh, how I praise the Lord, how I rejoice in God, my Savior, for he took notice of his lowly servant. And now generation after generation, they will call me blessed. And so we actually say, hey, Mary, good job. You did a good job. And that's today our message is that God wants to trust you to share his word with other people and to, to be like an ornament holder. When you have Jesus in you, you actually can show the world all about Jesus. Just like this ornament holder isn't pretty all by itself. But when I put it on a tree and I put an ornament on it, it becomes an amazing tool to make my tree beautiful. So today, our, our memory verse... I don't know if you can see, these are our, our memory verses for the month of December. And this one is A, and what it says is an angel from heaven appeared. And so this is our memory verse today, and you can think of the A and make it look like an angel. So would you like to draw an A and make it like an angel, and then put an angel from heaven appeared, and that's our memory verse. Our, oh, I just put them down here. Our crafts are all about angels today, and they're really fun. We're going to make these little angels, and then you can hang them on your tree. So it's a really easy thing to do, families. Let's see. You're going to need a little head and a halo, and then you're going to need a um, cupcake holder. And what you do is you take a half circle you staple the half circle together and then let's see I have a bunch of glue here you glue on the angel You glue it on in the front. Do you see that? Do you see how cute that is? Now, I'm going to glue it on, but I'm also going to staple it on just because that will make it quicker. Maybe I will. No, maybe I won't. You know what? It'll work better if I unstaple it. And then, let's see, I'm going to staple this on. There we go. And then I'm going to staple this together. There we go. You can do glue, but since I'm trying to get this done for you as soon as I can, then you put this here. And you have a little angel that you can hang with your ornament hanger on the tree. And remember, kids, that today, remember that today it's not about the ornament. It's about the ornament hanger. You can barely see that, can you? I tried to make it so you could see it, and you really can't. But it's so important because without this ornament hanger, the ornament can't hang on the tree. And God wants to do mighty things in your life. And if you trust him and you can say to God, Oh, I will do whatever you say, Lord, because I trust you. I trust you to use me mightily. Use me in a big way to make, to do mighty things for Jesus. Isn't that cool? And our memory verse, an angel from heaven appeared. So here's our angel. And God wants you to know that you can trust him. And even when he asks you to do things that may seem a little bit like, oh my word, I don't know if I can do it. Because sometimes, can you imagine if this ornament said, I can't do it. What if things drop? What if things break? My ornament hangers don't do that. They just hang. So go find some ornament hangers, put them in your hand, and hold your hand. And you see that you can hardly see it. And then will you pray with me? 
Dear Jesus, we thank you that you used Mary in a sense to be to be a superhero, to be someone that we remember and honor. But she wasn't the ornament. She wasn't the true hero that came to save our lives. It was Jesus. She was the vessel that you used and she trusted you with incredible trust. And today we want to trust you too. In Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for joining me for DGT Kids Recap. I hope you had fun and I hope you uh, see me again. Remember, tomorrow is Make It Monday. Um, it will come on the, on site at 3.30. And tonight, tonight in the evening on this Sunday, the um, second Sunday of Advent, we're going to be doing some recap on our Christmas kits. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bless you.